doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today, on the 713 Minute Show, we are gonna go to work, we are. Let's see what's really going on. Not feeling too bad today. Feel a little better than yesterday. Every day's getting better, it is. Anybody's wondering, still waiting for a CAT scan on September 14th? Nope, that's how long it takes in Canada to get a CAT scan done because that's how fucked up they are. They're just busy freaking people. So everybody can stop worrying. I'm not dead yet. You never know, but I'm not. So, this. So, today, what we're doing is, frig, I don't know. Why wouldn't we? Who else is going to work? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Why wouldn't you? You yeah, freaking better. What the hell's rolling around? Piss cups rolling around back there, Jim. I got a story for you today. That's why I wanted to come on here. That's what's new. So, lately around my house, my wife, she's highly, highly an animal person. She loves friggin' animals. So we've had this stray cat roaming around the damn house. If you're a member of my Facebook page, Life with Bill, so check it out on Facebook, why wouldn't you? Make sure you hit that like button if you want to uh, follow me on there, why wouldn't you? But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the wife loves pets. Can't get enough of them, she has a heart of gold when it comes to animals and this and that and the other freaking thing. So, she's been feeding it and every time I see it, I go Get the hell out of here, right? Doesn't like me. I keep telling her, just stop feeding that cat and get rid of it. You got enough freaking cats. We don't need a stray cat hanging around here. It's freaking marketers territory all over the place. It's gonna go missing one day. Stop. No. Nope. Every time I look back there and they're in the yard, there it is, right with them and this and that and the other freaking thing. So I gave up, I said, whatever, you know. One day that cat's gonna show you who's boss. So they were out last night walking the dog and the cats follow them, of course, and next thing you know, the cat's attacking the dog. And you know Emily, Emily's just a small dog, so. So the wife's trying to get the cat beat the cat off of the dog and they're both trying to grab the cat the cat starts attacking both of them and next thing you know they're all freaking scratched up from the stupid cat no idea if it has rabies or not no one knows nothing so guess where i went last night at quarter to ten yep took them both to the freaking hospital to get checked out because last thing i want is my kid have infection from a stupid stray cat and the wife have infection off we go. Stays out of filling some paperwork, so hopefully they'll come pick the stupid cat up. I'm hoping they'll come get the cat. Keep your fingers crossed. But they both got medication for any infections and stuff like this, so that's a good thing. But I had to go all the way. So where I live, I live in Wyoming, and then there's Petrolia, and then there's Sarnia. So we got 10 minutes to Petrolia, and then 15 minutes to Sarnia from Wyoming. About 20 minutes to Sarnia from Petrolia. So, from Petrolia, we had to drive to Sarnia to get a medication because that's the only pharmacy open in this neck of the woods at that time of night. So we normally go to Walmart for a prescription, so I went to Walmart, of course, then Dingle Nuts are closed at 10. Good old shoppers, eh? Shoppers are always there for you when you need it. But they were only open until midnight, so we made it there, they got their prescription, we got some creamers for the camp where you can, and we got home. So that was my night last night, and I just want to tell you that. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you did last night, because I always want to know. And don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? I just thought it was pretty funny, and I don't want to be that person, but I told you so, hon. I warned her from day one, don't pet the cat, don't feed the cat, because one day the cat might attack you because it's a stray cat. No, Mom, well, it's really nice. It's a nice little pussy. No, it's not a nice pussy. There's no such thing. Those things bite, yak nice and everything like that, but then when it comes right down to it, no, not nice. You stop purring, you stop letting us pet you, and you stop this and that and the other thing, and then you turn on us, and it's like a giant friggin' snake bite. Oh, it's horrible. What are you talking about here? Oh, yeah. No, we're talking, yeah. Kitties, pussies. Yeah, okay. Decent. Sorry about that. Get a little off sidetrack there, he did. But anyway, there's my little story for you this morning. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's just a quickie. Let me know what you girls and guys are doing this weekend. I always like to know what's going on with the fans I do. You're not really fans, you're just people that watch me. It's not like I'm famous or anything. I'm just some Joe Blow, life with Bill stuff guy that talks about nothing and does things with cameras. Okay? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Why wouldn't I? So going on to my next little story here. I get up in the morning and I look at my phone, see what's new and exciting. Look at my Facebook page, see if, you know, anybody's there or whatever. To wake up. You know, like normal people go to the gym and work out and drink lots of orange juice and stuff like that. No, I get up and I lay back down for a bit. I do. I, 
that's how I wake up. Or anything like that. Leave your comments down below if you're one of them people. Sorry about that. I apologize. When I was younger, I never did that. Just now. But anyway, looking around on the internet there this morning, and I see uh, good old TC Tuning working on a twin turbo LS jet boat. And I thought to myself, Trevor, that's pretty freaking decent, man. You should be doing videos, bud, because he's always tuning something. And I'm telling you right now, there's content there. He has a YouTube channel. He should change the name of that YouTube channel to TC Tuning. You should start just slapping a camera on your head and do videos when you're tuning because I'm telling you right now, bud, you got some content there. Leave your comments down below if you think I'm right about that. Who doesn't like high performance engine tuning videos? Well, a lot of you I guess, but majority of the YouTube is they're one of the most popular viewed videos. Probably the third because there's video games, kids, family shows, and then maybe that's just my opinion, but that's how I look at it. Comments down below if you look and say that it's me. But that's just my little discussion. Hopefully you heard that, Trevor, because uh, you got something there, bud. You do. I think. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. This is a short little driving to work video in the morning. Hopefully you can see me in here because it is dark in here because, of course, my truck is darker than Nick's. Have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Until next time, you know what to do for now.